Hello all, welcome to Tech Tap Chat. Myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see how we can import existing infrastructure with a Terraform. So just take a use case where I am manually creating my uh, Google Cloud resources or any cloud resources and I am doing this since last two to four years and now I want to use a uh, Terraform and going forward I will use Terraform for my resource creation but I want to import the existing resources to the Terraform configuration so I don't want to delete and that are my important resources and I want to import that into my Terraform configuration so how we can import our existing infrastructure in a Terraform configuration so we'll see that with a small example so this is my GCS storage bucket page so first I'll create one storage bucket manually so here I'll just give the bucket name as a so I'll just give the same name BKT GCPT 0 0 0 I'll keep everything as a default I'll continue okay. and I'll create So my storage bucket uh, will be created shortly okay so my storage bucket is created gcp bkt gcp dev 000 it's created now with a storage class standard and location as the us now i want to create one more bucket using the terraform so here i'll simply create one resource block resource google storage bucket and i'll just give the name as a bkt2 okay and i'll give the name as a bkt hyphen gcp dev 001 okay and location i'll give us so that's the simple code i've written and i'll execute a terraform init terraform plan okay so it will create one bucket and i will do terraform apply also Okay, so it will create one more bucket here so now here you could see two buckets are there one is 001 and one is 000 so first one is we created manually and it's not present in the terraform now i want to include this bucket into the terraform and i don't want to delete this bucket so how i can do so just let me try first approach so what i will do i'll try to create bucket with the same name I'll just give the name as a bkt1 and I'll try to do it in terraform so I'll do terraform plan okay. and I'll do terraform apply I'll do yes so it will fail because bucket is already present okay so error your previous request has to create so it means bucket is already present so it failed so i want to import this existing bucket into the terraform so how i will do so for that we can use our terraform import command so i'll just write terraform import and then i will give the resource block name google storage bucket dot bkt1 and i'll give the bucket id which will be bkt gcp dev have one zero 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 and i'll enter it okay now you could see import prepared prepared for import import successful okay and now if 
I see a terraform show here it will show me a two bucket so one is a zero 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 another is a zero zero one again I will verify in state file so you could see terraform zero 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 is added in the terraform state file so just to ensure if I can see if this is added in the terraform so let me go back to my storage okay now what I'll do I'll just try to change the storage class of the bucket from standard to near line so I'll just try to change storage class near line okay I'll try to do a terraform plan now so it is changing the storage class of my bucket to near line it means this is now managed by terraform and we imported our existing bucket into the terraform configuration so let me do terraform apply also and we'll see here if storage class change to a near line yeah and you could see it's changed to near line now our both the storage buckets are managed by terraform so this is just small example of a storage bucket so in this way we can import any of the existing infrastructure to the terraform so just one thing to remember if you are importing the existing infrastructure you have to create a resource block manually so you have to create a resource block resource block and the detail should be identical to your existing resource so this name should be identical to map to your existing infrastructure resource so that means to import existing infrastructure you have to first create this resource block you have to mention that resource block while mentioning this terraform import command and this id which should be a exactly matching to your existing resource id so that's how we can import the existing resource using the terraform import command so thank you for uh, watching this video